Hello everybody, it's Scrapdiva29 and today I have um, some Christmas cards I want to share with you. I have Christmas cards and some Christmas tags that I had made. And um, I'm going to start with this first card here. I was watching Jill Norwood here on YouTube and she did an adorable snowman card using this snowman and she left a link to where you could purchase this digital download and it was for one dollar, it was on sale so I went ahead and picked it up and thought it was really cute and I printed it off onto um, some white cardstock and I just used my Copic um, markers to color up this snowman in these pastel um, color uh, theme pinks and light blues and the light green I thought they were pretty and I'm loving the bright and cheery uh, Christmas theme colors this year so I went ahead and went with that I use stickles on the um, pom-poms and right over here and also stickled his scarf thought that was cute then what else did I do I used a spellbinders die to create the little like I guess wave of snow I used some um, glittered cardstock from Michaels this particular um, pattern paper it was from a recollections pad from last season I used a Marion Bright um, wooden stamp that I think I purchased at Michaels last year and then I used a diary die that snowman or it's not snowman the snowflake border die and um, and I punched that in silver uh, glitter cardstock which I thought was really pretty and I didn't do anything on the inside yet I will do something but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this so that's my first card and then I went and made another snowman card and this snowman is slightly bigger and what I did was um, using the silver and white um, cardstock that's from Michaels um, I used that as the um, background and then I used white cardstock and then I embossed it with a, a polka dot embossing folder and I used the, what die is this, um, diamond dies, scalloped tag die, and um, went ahead and printed out the snowman, Copic color, Tim as well, same color um, theme. Um, used my paper punches for the snowflakes, and then the Wonderland is the Tim Holtz die. This, um, it comes in this die set right here and I punched that with um, white glittered cardstock also purchased from Michaels and then I just added some trim right here from Hobby Lobby and the little bells I think I got those at Michaels the silver and blue and this right here is a spellbinders die and I also use that white glittered cardstock um, right here just for an added uh, embellishment and I think this card came out really cute. I love the silver, uh, that silver and white paper. It's so pretty. So that's my second card. All right, moving along. My next card is right here. And I hope that you guys can see this. I'm shooting at a different angle and I'm not used to this. So anyway, I used my Sizzix die to die cut out this reindeer and I did um, die cut him in some I think I used um, some chipboard and then I covered him with a pattern paper and this is that be bold and bright paper from Hobby Lobby and I used the triangle one the white this is a spellbinders die and then that believe is the Tim Holtz word dies and I used this dollar store snowflake it's like an ornament and I just backed it on um, this pattern paper and down here I don't know if you can see it but I did use some glass glitter um, down here as well and this is an easel card so it stands up like that and looks like that and I just added some more of that um, foil paper and that's um, a die that I got from Tuesday morning the Doris I think it's holly and I just took two of the um, pieces of holly and just connected them to so it would look like that and then I used a border punch right here and on the inside of the card I can you know write my letter up here 
which I thought was cute. So that is my easel card, which I think came out really nice. It's a pretty card. It's shiny. So that one's fun. Moving along, I made a couple more tags. Now I did use, I'm going to try to get a little closer for you guys. Here we go. Um, this is my creative time die and this paper I used is from Recollections from last year. I used the Paper Sweeties die to punch out that mitten. This has been in my stash forever, those making memory uh, pieces. And then I just added some jingle bells with some twine and then I used some ribbon that I had purchased from Michaels. And I thought that was really cute. Love this tag, it's so pretty. And then I'll be able to stamp to and from on the back. I didn't do that yet. I should have done it already, but I didn't. And this right here is actually ribbon that I had bought at Michael's as well. And it's really uh, glittery ribbon and it's pretty. So I like that tag. That's my first tag. And then the second tag I made, also using another My Creative Time die, uh, that tag die. Um, this is also my creative time, this, this tag that I just recently got, that Christmas tag die set that I purchased. This is one of them. And then I die cut out Believe, which is the Tim Holtz dies. And this dress right here is a Spellbinders die that I used. And I put the dress on a hanger, and I just kind of made it look like Santa Claus, and I added this pom-pom trim, which I got at Walmart, and then just some bling right here for the belt and I thought that was really cute. And so I'll be able to, I could either put this on a card or on a gift, I don't really know yet, but I just thought it was cute and I was just playing around. And then the ribbon is from Michaels. So that's my Christmas card and tag share for today. Um, I hope you guys like what I made. Leave me a comment and if you have any questions, just let me know. And until next time, talk to you later, bye.